me continuing on here with our one-to-one -one scale freight train. And we've already done some cars for it. Today we're gonna to be doing another four different cars here. So we have this 86 foot Conrail box car, a chassis system covered hopper, a Canadian Pacific cylindrical covered hopper, and finally, at the back, a gondola here. And if you need to know how to build the locomotives or other cars, those are in our previous two videos. So let's get right into the build now. So for our first step here, take a dark oak slab for the coupler and we'll attach that up. Coming off that, we're gonna do a line of mangrove slabs coming right up the middle and that's gonna be 27 blocks long in total. Once you have 27 blocks, put another dark oak slab at this end. Then we're gonna put a mangrove trap door on each side of the end like this. And same thing at this end. Next to that, we'll do our truck. So take hoppers in a pattern of four like this. And in between them on each end, we're gonna get an outward facing polished deep slate stair here. So we'll have to crouch and get one on the rail here and here in between the hoppers. And of course, we'll do the same thing at this end here. So get a stair here and here. Then in between here on the edge of the slabs, we're going to do a full row of mangrove trap doors. And of course, do the same thing on this side, a full row of mangrove trap doors over here. Then take out dark oak fence gates and we're gonna put one on the side of the stairs on each truck. And of course, do the same thing over here. Just like that. Now come on top of the end here with mangrove stairs. And right here, we're gonna make a three by three of stairs facing this way. On top of it, three smooth quartz stairs. We repeat the process at the other end, just facing the opposite way. So a three by three of stairs here, and smooth cord stairs on top. Now take stripped mangrove logs, come in front of this on the side, and we're gonna put a row of nine coming in with the pattern going sideways. And then, we're just going to raise that all up to the top. So it's looking like that. And we'll do the same thing at the opposite end. Start from that end, do a row of nine, and then raise it to the top. Making sure the pattern's going sideways on all of them. Then we're going to repeat the process on the other side. So another nine on this side, raise it up to the top. And then one more corner to go, another nine on this side. And go ahead and raise that up to the top. Then go ahead and come inside here we're going to fill the top two layers <coughs> with mangrove logs. Again, making sure the pattern is sideways. Till we get to the opposite end, just like that. Now take mangrove stairs, stack four of them facing inward here, turn around, and four facing inward here. Then, we're going to do two stairs that are facing sideways on each side and bring that up to the top. We'll repeat it over here. So inward facing stairs stacked up four here, turn around and four this way here. Then two stairs on each side stacked up to the top, leaving this middle gap 
open for now. On this center gap, we're going to put four mangrove planks and same thing on this side. Then we'll come down to the end, put a mangrove fence gate here and here, and then same thing on this corner on both sides. Right here, close the jungle trap door for the brake wheel. Copy it here, so fence gate here and here, and then here and here. Now come up top with iron trap doors right on the top of these stairs, do three, and we're just gonna come all the way down the car alternating three trap doors with a gap of space. And just keep it coming all the way till you get to the other end. Then once we've done that, we'll come back through and fill all the gaps of space with three light gray carpet in each one. to the other end, just like that. Now come up on this right hand side, one block down from the top, and we're gonna put a single birch button right here. Then behind it here, we're gonna knock out three of these on this layer, and three below it. Then we're also gonna knock out another three on bottom to the left. Actually didn't fill this in far enough, so get some strip mangrove logs on bottom behind that there to fill in that hole. Then we're gonna take smooth quartz stairs, two of them like this, then one facing this way. Then an upside down one facing this way. On top of it, right side up facing the opposite. Then a double slab in here, a stair here like this, and a single slab under the end of it for the logo. Then on the bottom of this corner, put a polished blackstone button and two birch buttons next to it. Then we're gonna come to the opposite end of the car on this side, on the bottom. Right here, we're gonna put five birch buttons and three birch signs centered above it, like that. Now we gotta repeat the whole process on the other side. So come down to this end, one block down, a birch button, Knock out two rows of three right here, and then three more on bottom. And same thing, we have to fill that bottom gap with strip mangrove blocks. Then take out quartz stairs, two facing this way, one this way. Turn around it in an upside down one facing here, right side up facing opposite above it. Double slab up here, stair here, and slab under that stair. On the bottom corner, a blackstone button, two birch buttons. Then on the opposite end of the car here, five birch buttons and three birch signs centered up above it here. And that completes the build here for our 86 foot Conrail box car. And now we'll move on to our next freight car. So we'll add on another dark oak slab for the coupler then three polished black stone slabs. On the side of it, put hoppers in a pattern like this. Then we need to get an outward facing polished deep slate stair in between the hoppers on each side. Then take a dark oak fence gate on the side of the stair here and on this side. Behind this, we're gonna do polished black stone stairs, three wide, upside down in a back to back T-shaped pattern here. Then, coming off those stairs, we're gonna go over to polished black stone slabs, and we'll do three rows of three. Behind that, we're gonna do polished black stone stairs in an upside down back-to-back T-shaped pattern again. Then three slabs coming off the middle. Then we put our hoppers in this same pattern again. Crouch, get a polished deep slate stair facing outward in between each one. Dark oak slab on this end for the coupler. Dark oak fence gates on either side of these stairs here. Now take out oak signs, one in the center here and 
one like this on either side in a pattern of three. Repeat the process on this side here. Now we're gonna switch over and take out yellow concrete up here. One block in from the hopper in the center do a line of yellow concrete and stop one block before the hopper at this end. Then we're gonna do upside down oak stairs, three facing this way at this end, and then we're just gonna go all the way around this, wrapping around the corners. And all the way back up this side. Then on the top outside edge, go all the way around it with a layer of yellow concrete. Then three upside down stairs facing this way here, three facing the opposite way on this end. Then come above that, and we'll go all the way around this top outside edge with a layer of yellow concrete. Once that's done, we'll do a line of yellow concrete end to end on the top middle. And then we're gonna do outward facing oak stairs up here on this side and facing the opposite way on the other side. Come on top, put an oak slab one block in from each end, then skip a block and a second one on each side. Then, come on the end of the car here and take out oak fences. On this outside edge, we're gonna put a column of four oak fences right here. And we can do the same thing on this side four oak fences. Then swing around down here and do the same thing. So four oak fences here. Four here. Then we're going to take out a grindstone here for our brake cylinder. And we'll swing in underneath one end here get a grindstone down here going that way cover the rest of that with oak trap doors and then some oak trap doors underneath here on this end then we're gonna get an oak trap door on top of each of these fences crouch and get one in between there and then we're gonna do a line of trap doors up each side of the top one on each of these fences and then crouch and get one in between here on the end. Now we're going to take out oak fence gates here, put a column of four here on top of this fence, one on this side, and then one column of four here. Repeat the pattern at this end. So we're going to do four here, four on this side, and then four right here. Now come into a loom with a yellow banner and black die. Put a vertical on the left, horizontal on top, and bottom. That's for the logo, so we'll put it right in the center of the car here. Then take polished black stone button, four on this side, and then this L shape on this side. Repeat the process over here. So L shape of buttons here, four on this side, put the banner in the middle. And that completes the chassis system two bay covered hopper, and we'll move on to the next car here. So we're gonna put a dark oak slab on the end of here, then three polished black stone slabs. Same as before, we put our four hoppers in a pattern like this. Then get a polished deep slate stair facing outward on each side in between the hoppers. Then put a dark oak fence gate on the side of each stair here. Then in front of this, in the middle, we need to skip one block forward here, get a polished black stone block, skip a gap of two, another block, gap of two and another block, gap of two and another block. So there's four blocks here. Then we're just gonna take upside down polished black stone stairs and we're gonna go 
all the way around each of these blocks one at a time here so that all the upside down stairs wrap around all the corners so just come all the way around each one we have to do it one at a time so the stairs go around the corner and don't attach to each other and we'll get this final one here just like that then we'll come back down to this end three polished black stone slabs on the end do our pattern of four hoppers again outward facing polished deep slate stair in between each hopper then a dark oak slab at this end for the coupler and a dark oak fence gate on either of these stairs on each side here now come on top here one block over from the hopper in the center and we're going to do a line of polished black stone blocks up the middle and that's going to go one block over from the hopper at this end then at one end here we're going to put a smooth quart stair upside down on either side then behind it sticking out a red nether brick stair on either side build the rest of it until it sticks out past the blocks on each side here in here with upside down polished black stone stairs so there's this hole in between the stairs on the end here then down here we're gonna do two red nether brick blocks on each side and another two red nether brick blocks then two smooth quartz on each side in front of it then go ahead and we'll fill the rest of both sides with a double layer of polished black stone block then we'll put two polished black stone in this middle gap here. So there's this opening of one block. Same thing here. Put a right side up polished black stone stair on this bottom middle. And same thing on this end. Now we're going to come up top here. And at this end we're going to do a red nether brick stair. Smooth quartz stair. Same thing on this side. Then do the rest of it with outward facing polished black stone stairs same thing on this side here then we'll do an upside down stair right there and right there then fill the top middle with polished black stone block now come up on this side here knock out these three and put in smooth quartz do the same thing over here knock out these three Put in smooth quartz under it we're gonna do three birch buttons move over a block a dark oak sign and another button same thing through here three birch buttons skip over one a dark oak sign and another birch button then come on the end with dark oak fences and we're gonna get three coming across right here and then we're going to come up another three on each side. Repeat the pattern at this end. So three fences coming across here. And another three coming up on each side. Then down in here, we're going to get a grindstone and two dark oak trap doors. On this end, just put three dark oak trap doors across here. Then on the side of this fence, we're going to do four dark oak fence gates coming up. Four on this side. Repeat the process at this end. So four here. Four here. Then we'll come up top get a dark oak trap door on the top of each fence then we got a crouch get one in between there and one coming forward on each side like that repeat it down here so one on each fence crouch one on each side and in that end middle then take a polished deep slate slab here and we're gonna come on the top and align 
with the center of each of the bays on the end. Just like that. So it's basically a pattern with two blocks of space between all of them and there's four slabs. Then we come up each side of the top here with dark off trap doors to complete the walkways. And that completes the CP rail cylindrical covered hopper and we'll move on to our last car here. So we're going to come on the end here, put on a dark oak slab. Then we're going to do a line of polished blackstone slabs right up the center and that's going to be 21 blocks long. And then once you have 21 slabs, do a dark oak slab at this end for the coupler. Accidentally placed one there. Then on either side of the ends, we'll do our pattern of four hoppers for the trucks with an outward facing polished deep slate stair in between each of them. And of course, repeat the pattern at this end. Then put a dark oak fence gate on the sides of each of the four polished deep slate stairs. Then we'll come in here and we're going to do two dark oak trap doors on each corner next to the hoppers like this. And then we're going to fill the rest of this gap with a row of polished black stone slabs. Same thing on this side here. Just like that. Then we're going to take polished black stone block, come to the end, and we're going to make a pattern like this, one above each of these stairs and then on the center of the end. Copy it here. Then in these corners we're going to put inward facing polished black stone stairs on each side. And same thing down here. So we have that little hole. Right here, close a jungle trap door. Then on this side, we're basically going to come through and come up each side, alternating between a polished black stone wall and a polished black stone block. So every other block with walls in between them. And we're going to do that right up both sides. So we'll fill all these gaps with walls here. Then take polished black stone slab and we're going to come in a rectangle around the whole top outside edge here. Just like that. Come right here, change this block to yellow concrete and put a mangrove button on it. Then come down to this end and change that same block on this side to yellow concrete and put a mangrove button on it. Then come down over here. And we're gonna do two oak buttons and a birch button. Same thing here, two oak buttons and a birch button. And that completes the gondola car here. So there we have it folks, that completes the next four freight cars for our Minecraft 1 to 1 scale freight train here. I hope that you've enjoyed the build. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and everyone have a great week. Stay safe out there rail fans.